The U.S. Treasury bond market is the largest and deepest government debt market in the world. According to SIFMA, $530 billion of U.S. Treasuries trade every day. Roughly 50% of all U.S. Treasuries are held outside the United States, making the U.S. Treasury market a truly global marketplace. In fact, for many bond indexes and portfolios, U.S. Treasury security price and yield levels constitute a benchmark or contribute a large part of the global bond index construction. Individual U.S. Treasury notes and bonds provide an important benchmark yields at various points along the maturity curve. The most commonly quoted points of the Treasury curve are at the two-year, five-year, 10-year, and 30-year points of the curve. CME Group offers futures contracts on U.S. Treasuries that provide an effective and capital-efficient substitute for cash U.S. Treasury notes and bonds. Because CME lists multiple contracts along the yield curve, traders can express a point of view on outright interest rates or express a view on the slope of the yield curve. CME Group lists U.S. Treasury futures contracts with effective maturities at the two-year, five-year, seven-year, 10-year, 20, and 25-year points along the yield curve. Let's consider trades that express a point of view on the slope of the yield curve. The slope of the curve is determined by market forces. Yield curves can steepen or increase in slope. Curve steepenings can be driven by either short-term rates falling faster and further than long-term rates or longer-term rates rising faster and further than short-term rates. Yield curves can also flatten or narrow in slope. Flattenings occur when yields on long-term securities drop faster and further than short-term ones or short-term rates yields rise faster and further than long-term ones. Trading the slope of the U.S. Treasury curve using futures contracts involve the execution of an intercommodity spread. A spread in futures term is the simultaneous purchase and sale of two highly correlated futures contracts. In the case of Treasury yield curve spreads, we would consider buying a U.S. Treasury futures contract of one maturity and selling another based on a different maturity. One very common and widely quoted yield curve spread is the twos versus tens yield spread. This spread compares and reflects the difference in yields between the current U.S. Treasury 10-year note and the current U.S. Treasury 2-year note. The spread is quoted and referred to as the difference in yields 10-year minus 2-year expressed in basis points. This is a five-year chart of a running twos versus tens spread provided by the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. The high of 266 basis points was put in in December 31, 2013. The lows of 77 basis points were established over the summer of 2016. The most recent steepening was a result of the U.S. presidential election in early November 2016, which pushed the spread to a recent high of 133 basis points on December 23rd. Ever since then, the slope has been narrowing, closing on June 7th at 86 basis points. What drives the spread or the slope relationship? Two-year treasuries tend to be more sensitive to monetary policy set by the U.S. Central Bank, also known as the Fed. When the Fed is tightening in a tightening mode, that is raising short-term interest rates, the two-year tends to anticipate further rate hikes and prices to yields near or above the Fed's targeted rate level. Ten-year notes tend to take their direction from economic indicators that express or attempt to predict inflationary pressure in the U.S. economy. When inflation expectations are rising, one would expect the ten-year yield to also rise. If the market perceives inflation as not being a problem or even falling from current levels, the yield on tens could also fall. Constructing a curve trade using futures requires a little knowledge about how U.S. Treasury futures trade in price versus the underlying U.S. Treasury cash market. In order to make the spread trade less sensitive to outright price direction, it is important to create a ratio spread that reflects a dollar neutral position between the two contracts. In other words, the spread ratio is designed to express a, the relative value or the difference in yield change between the contracts rather than the outright direction of underlying yield price change. To properly weight an equivalent two-year versus 10-year yield spread, we might consider using the two-year U.S. Treasury contract versus the ultra-10-year futures. 
This spread is also known as the TUX or TUX spread and is commonly traded on a three to one ratio. Buying three two-year futures versus selling one ultra-10 future reflects a curve steepening bias or that the trader expects the spread relationship to widen. Selling three two years versus buying one ultra 10 year note reflects a curve flattening bias or that the spread will narrow. CME Group's Globex execution platform offers several yield curve spreads with preloaded ratios based on current contract valuations. Trading U.S. Treasury spreads to express a view on the slope of the yield curve is a common and effective strategy employed by experienced rate traders around the world. CME Group U.S. Treasury futures provide deep pools of actionable liquidity across the whole length of the U.S. Treasury curve. I hope you have found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to do your homework.